So in recent years, a term has been making its way into global conversations, and that term is de-dollarization. Now, while it might sound a bit complex, its impact could actually be pretty huge, especially for the United States. But what does this term really mean, and how does it affect the U.S. economy? Well, I'll break it down for you right now. So the U.S. dollar has long been the world's dominant currency. Uh, it's the go-to for international trade used in everything from oil deals to buying coffee across borders. Uh, this is called the dollar's reserve currency status. Uh, countries hold U.S. dollars in their central banks to use for international transactions, uh, pay debts, and stabilize their own currencies. Now, de-dollarization is when countries move away from using the U.S. dollar for trade and international financial deals. Instead of the dollar, they might start using their own currencies or another like the euro or the Chinese yuan or gold or maybe Bitcoin. Um, this shift could cause ripples across the U.S. economy, and I'll dive into how. So before actually exploring the effects of de-dollarization, we need to understand why countries are even considering it. And there are several reasons why. Number one is sanctions and political power. So the U.S. has been known to use the dollar as a weapon. Uh, when countries upset the U.S., they risk sanctions, making it harder for them to trade in dollars. Countries like Russia and China see this as a threat to their economic security. Number two is economic dominance. Some countries, particularly China and Russia, want to actually break free from the economic dominance of the U.S. They feel too dependent on the U.S. economy because of the dollar's central role in global finance. And number three, instability and debt. So the U.S. has a massive national debt and the constant printing of more dollars can lead to inflation, as we all have seen, which worries some other countries. They don't want their reserves tied to a currency that could lose and is losing value over time. So how does this actually impact the U.S. economy? Well, first off, it causes higher borrowing cost the u.s government regularly borrows money by issuing bonds because so many countries use the dollar they also buy u.s debt which helps keep interest rates low if countries move away from the dollar there will be less demand for these bonds this means the u.s will likely have to offer higher interest rates to attract buyers increasing the cost of borrowing in more simple terms, it'll be more expensive for the U.S. to take out loans, which could push the national debt even higher. Number two is inflation risk. So when the U.S. prints more money, there's a risk of inflation. Today, because the world trades so heavily in dollars, the U.S. can export some of its inflation abroad. But if fewer countries use the dollar, this inflation will likely stay at home causing prices for goods and services within the U.S. to rise. The cost of living would shoot up, making everything from groceries to housing more expensive. And then third, reduced demand for dollars. Um, with fewer countries needing the dollar, its value could begin dropping significantly. Uh, this would make it more expensive for U.S. businesses and consumers to import goods from other countries. Imagine paying much more for electronics, uh, clothes, or cars. While it could make U.S. exports cheaper and more competitive internationally, it would make everyday life in the U.S. a lot more expensive. Now, there are a couple of long-term effects of de-dollarization, the first being a decline in global influence. Uh, the U.S.'s dollar dominance isn't just about money, it's also about power. Being the world's reserve currency gives the U.S. significant control over global financial systems. If the dollar loses this status, the U.S. will lose some of its influence on the world stage. Countries may no longer feel as compelled to align with U.S. policies, which could weaken America's diplomatic power. And secondly would be shifts in trade patterns. 
Today, most countries conduct their international trade in dollars, uh, but if de-dollarization takes hold, we could see a shift in global trade dynamics. For example, oil producing countries might actually start accepting payments in other currencies like the Chinese Yuan or the Euro, which we already have been seeing signs of. Uh, China and Saudi Arabia have recently agreed to start trading with each other in their respective currencies. They are also a part of a BRICS alliance, which I won't go into in this video, but I do have some other videos you can check out on my channel about that. But this shift would alter global trade routes and the demand for US products, potentially hurting American industries that rely on international markets. Now, who benefits from de-dollarization? Well, while the US might feel negative consequences from this, some countries would actually benefit, and the first being China. China has actually actively been pushing for the Yuan to play a bigger role in international trade. De-dollarization would likely boost the Yuan status, giving China more economic and political influence. Another country that would benefit would be Russia. Uh, due to Western sanctions, Russia has already been moving away from the dollar and de-dollarization would actually allow Russia to build stronger trade relationships with countries that also want to reduce dependence on the US. Number three would be other emerging economies. So countries like Africa, Latin America, and Asia might also benefit from a more diversified global financial system. They could negotiate better trade deals and reduce their vulnerability to U.S. economic policies. So how does this affect the average American? Well, for most people, the idea of de-dollarization might seem a bit distant or irrelevant, but its effects could hit a lot closer to home than most people might expect. Uh, it could cause rising prices. As mentioned earlier, inflation could surge. Everyday goods like food, gas, and household items might become more expensive. Uh, higher interest rates, uh, more job losses, and even potentially a weaker dollar for traveling. Now, the ultimate question here is, is de-dollarization inevitable? Now, while de-dollarization isn't something that will particularly happen overnight, the dollar is still deeply embedded in the global financial system, and it will take a massive shift for countries to fully move away from it. However, as more countries begin to experiment with alternative currencies and creating financial systems that bypass the dollar, the US may need to adapt quickly. So in conclusion, uh, this may seem like a bit of a distant issue, but the effects could be felt by every single American. From rising prices to shifts in global power, the ripple effects of countries moving away from the dollar could reshape the US economy and everyday life. While it is difficult to predict exactly how and when these changes will happen, uh, it's important to understand that the world is ever evolving and so must the U.S. economy. Staying informed and prepared will be very crucial as we navigate this new potential chapter in global finance, which is why you should subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with the latest trends and findings within the political and global landscape.